All right, one of the biggest road construction projects of the year is actually getting bigger. We're talking about the Route 28 work around the Highland Park Bridge and the additions come with more slowdowns for drivers. So John Shumway has the details of what you can expect. When are they going to wrap up 28? <laughs> Do you have that answer for us? I am not going to say never, although okay. that certainly okay. is. It seems kind of ongoing. Uh, it forever. is, it is. And more work is coming outside of the, the Highland Park Bridge project is big enough, but there's going to be even more of this construction zone. Let's start though with some issues that have come up they're near Highland Park Bridge. Reconstruction of the ramp from the Highland Park Bridge to northbound 28 hasn't quite gone as planned. We uncovered some deterioration when we removed the roadway slabs. And that has slowed down the work. We've got to delay the opening of that northbound ramp uh, till about the end of July. And since it's going to take longer, PennDOT has decided to keep the Delafield Avenue ramp closed too. While we have it closed, we're just going to move right in and we're going to get the reconstruction done. That should be mid-July to get that back open. Once the ramp from the bridge reopens in late July, the outbound ramp from Delafield Avenue will close for reconstruction. PennDOT is adopting this approach. And I think there's a little bit of value to, to, to get in there all at one time and then get out of people's way for another hopefully 15, 20 years. So add on to the work fixing the pavement from Delafield Avenue north and more lane restrictions. The Highland Park Bridge Project already has it in the single lanes. Those single lanes will be extended as we start doing the paving work and the reconstruction work and the bridge work on those northern pieces. All so the that's way up to Creighton. All the way up to Creighton. Yeah, in fact, some of those restrictions between Creighton and Fox Chapel are already happening on a daily basis, but they're going to increase significantly as we head through the summer. However, they're going to do the best they can to try and stay out of the way of the rush hours. John, why do they do all this at once? I mean, well, couldn't, couldn't they like space things out a little bit? You would think, but the fact is money is so hard to come by. They've yeah. got the money to do the work. And Zhang right. says the idea is get all the disruptions over with at once and then get out of everybody's way, as he said, for the next 15 to 20 years.